guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking From My Couch. I'm Jen, also known as Indulgent Eats, and I love cooking at home, but the best place in my house for lighting is actually right here on my couch. So I'm taking you through a variety of different easy and delicious recipes that you can make all while sitting down. If you watched my last video, you saw me work my air fryer. I'm super pumped because I worked with the team at Caloric to design this custom illustration on my air fryer. And in the last video, I showed you guys how to make a few different fried things like fried chicken, tater tots, and chicken nuggets. But today, it is all about breakfast. I'm dressed for the occasion. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an epic bagel spread all with the air fryer. That is right, you can make bagels in an air fryer. Um, I found the recipe online, did a little bit of testing, and the results are so epic that I had to show you guys how to make a full spread. But first things first, we gotta make those bagels. If you're not familiar, an air fryer is basically a supercharged convection oven that blows hot air all around whatever food is inside. And the result is that you can get things more golden brown than in an oven, but in a quicker amount of time. So this is gonna help us out when we make our bagels. Golden crust that you imagine from a boiled and then baked bagel, but without doing all of that. So the first thing we have to do is make our dough. So in this bowl, I have flour, baking powder, and salt. And we're gonna just mix, whisk this together to fully combine it. This recipe is actually from Skinny Taste, and I'm gonna be making double the amount. So this is actually going to turn into, hopefully, four mini bagels and two regular size bagels. So the secret to these bagels is Greek yogurt. So I was pretty skeptical at first when I read this recipe, but you know, I tested it out and it's legit. I'm gonna use my handy little New York spatula. Seems like it's fitting. We're gonna add in our Greek yogurt. I'll link to the recipe, but this is about two cups of Greek yogurt to two cups of flour and four teaspoons of baking powder and then some salt. You can see it's pretty well combined. So what we're gonna do is we have this floured surface and we're gonna just dump our dough onto here. We're gonna knead this together. And you wanna basically make sure that the dough is all combined, um, but you don't want it to be sticky. Um, you want a dough that kind of comes off your hands, um, and you definitely wanna make sure that the flat, your surface is well floured. Um, the first time I made this, it was like a hot, sticky mess. <laughs> this time around seems like it's going better. You know, practice makes perfect. All right, so I now have pretty nice ball of dough, bagel dough. You can see it's not really sticking to my hands too much. Everything is pretty well incorporated. So what I'm gonna do is divide this. So I'm going to divide my dough in half first. Set one aside. And then we're gonna take this ball of dough and we're gonna make four bagels out of it. So I'm gonna roll into a ball, back into a ball so we can cut it evenly. There's something very satisfying about cutting dough. How it just squishes in. So now with each of these four, we're gonna roll it into a bagel. Try and get it as even as possible. And you want it to be about an inch or three quarters of an inch in width. And you're gonna just close the loop and make your bagel. Okay, this one's a little janky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, you know, practice makes perfect. So I've got my, oh, <laughs> I've got my bagel. So what we're gonna do is, this is some egg white. And this is what's gonna give it that nice color that you expect from a bagel. It's gonna make it nice and glossy. 
So we're gonna add egg white onto both sides of the bagel. And this is also gonna help the topping stick onto the bagel. So I'm going to be using everything seasoning, but you could really use anything. If you don't have everything seasoning, you can use fried garlic um, and salt, you know, poppy seeds, sesame seeds. You can just make sesame bagels, salt bagels. You can even do something like furikake, which is a Japanese seasoning with seaweed and sesame seeds. But I love me some everything seasoning. So we are going to just cover these babies in everything seasoning. And we're gonna do this on both sides. And you may hear a whirring. That's actually my air fryer. I went ahead and preheated it to 280 because that's what the recipe calls for. So we're gonna just get that going while we finish seasoning our bagels. And the great thing about this air fryer is that technically you really don't have to preheat. It heats up really quickly, but it, I preheated the oven last time I made these and it worked out. So I'm gonna just kind of stick to the recipe. And again, we're gonna literally just keep making sure to grab all that. Everything seasoning, get the edges. Season it up because everything bagels are truly everything. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wash my hands. So we're gonna just give this a quick pause and we're going to place these into our nonstick basket. So you can see that the four bagels fit nicely right inside. This is gonna go right in. And this is gonna go for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do a 16, actually I like it to be really nice and golden, so there it goes. And guys, don't forget to vote for my air fryer design. You can see it has a really cool design. I worked with the illustrator, Louisa Lafette, and she designed this really cool illustration based on my love for food and travel. There's an airplane, there's an airport tower, there's a suitcase filled with sushi, topped with pizza, there's these fun little birds on top of chopsticks. So definitely make sure to hit the link in the description below to vote for my design. So while that's going, we are gonna make our other bagels. So we've got our second ball of dough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and actually make these a little bit bigger. Um, you notice those were four, I made four bagels on the other one and they're kind of like, almost like mini bagels. So we're gonna see if we can make these a little, not necessarily fully like a New York sized bagel, but just a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to just divide this into, let's do three and see how that goes. Okay, so easiest way to divide into three is to make a pizza. It looks like a butt. So here we have our three bigger bagels, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Egg wash, and everything seasoning. Okay, so just in time for the other bagels being done being made, the tiny, what? Wow. Our small bagels are complete. They're a little weird shape. Not gonna lie, I did not do this as evenly as I wanted to, but wow, they look good. See, they're nice and golden on both sides. I'm gonna let this go for a couple of minutes just because I really like them nice and toasted. Actually, let's do one. Here we go. Oh my God, they're just... They're beautiful. I mean, you know, they're they're like human beings. <laughs> they're not perfect, but they still are beautiful. So we have our completed first round of bagels. I'm gonna just transfer them out while we put in our second batch of bagels. Because they're a little bit thicker, I am going to do these for maybe, let's start at 18 and then We'll see what happens. Wanna make sure there's enough space 
in between them. Yeah, I'm really happy I have this nice big 5.3 quart air fryer. And this is difficult to do with my left hand, but my right hand has egg on it. Okay, so this is gonna do the same thing, 280 for 18 minutes. Let's go. Let's try one of these bagels. I'm going to use the one that looks a little funny, <laughs> but the outside's quite, it's obviously not gonna have the exact same crisp that you get from a typical New York bagel, but, oh wow. So check out the inside of our bagels. So let's just give it a try, got some Cream cheese here. Let's do a taste test. Mm. Doesn't have that super crispy outside that a New York bagel would, but the taste is honestly pretty close. So good. And I hate it when, especially outside of New York, when you get a bagel and it's just bread with a hole in it. This actually tastes like a bagel. The Greek yogurt, for whatever reason, Gives it the flavor, maybe, or the texture. Maybe it's the cultures that are inside of yogurt. But wow, that's super good. So while our second round of bagels is going, we are going to prepare some of our other stuff for our bagel spread. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, we're gonna do something fun, and we're actually going to make these into bacon roses. So what you gotta do is simply roll these babies up See how bagels are doing. Woo! Okay, these look a lot more bagel-like than the other round. Wow, they're so nice and golden. How awesome are these bagels? So we have the smaller ones or the bigger ones. And I can't wait to finish everything so I can lay this all out. We've got our bacon roses, and what we're gonna do is we are going to layer them in our non-stick basket. When you make bacon, you wanna add a little bit of water into the basket. It's gonna catch any grease that drips from the bacon. That way it doesn't smoke inside your air fryer. Here we have our bacon roses ready to go. Bacon roses are going in. And these are gonna go for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we are gonna make smoked salmon roses. Smoked salmon roses is basically the same idea. We're going to take our smoked salmon and roll it into a rose. And with this, you wanna kind of like use your fingers and fan out the top part of it. That's gonna do is it's gonna really open it up and make it look like flower petals. All right, here we have our bacon roses. Uh, they didn't quite. I gotta work on my rolling technique. I think they're slightly rose-like, but you can see they're they're cooked. It's crispy, so it'll do. And we're going to bake our eggs. So that's right, you can make eggs in here. And the awesome thing about making eggs in here is that unlike frying eggs where you wanna watch over it, make sure that it's cooked, when you cook it in the air fryer, you can literally stick it in and know it'll be done exactly you want it every time. So we're gonna do this at 3.30 for six minutes. And that's gonna give us egg white that's set and a yolk that's still ready. So here we have it, our final heart-shaped spread. I found these cute little, they're called red boiler onions. They're really hard to slice, but they look cute. Um, I couldn't find regular red onion. We have our somewhat janky bacon roses, our much better smoked salmon roses, Tomato, our everything bagels, some capers, some cream cheese, all with our bagels that we made in the air fryer. Right, Crosby? <laughs> it's time to finally eat our bagels, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for one of the big 
bigger bagel since we didn't try that guy. And check out inside that bagel. I'm not very good at slicing, but <laughs> you get the idea. And we're going to do your classic lox bagel. So we're gonna do cream cheese, lox flowers. We're gonna just unroll it. So this was two slices of lox, so I'm just gonna use them both on this. We'll put some of this, these cute little circular onions on here. So, add some tomato, some capers, and some dill, fresh dill, so good. There we have it, final bagel, let's try it. Oh man, it's so good, it, Has such a nice bite. Like the mouthfeel is a lot like your standard bagel. Again, it doesn't have that crispiness that you get from a New York bagel, but the chew on it is really nice. Mmm. This right here is such a game changer. It only takes 16 minutes in here plus the time to roll, but you can imagine that. Roll a bunch, make them as you go. These will be good, by the way. Three days just hanging out, not in the fridge. You can also freeze them if you wanna eat them for later. Yeah, this is just the most perfect Valentine's Day, pre-Valentine's Day brunch. Don't forget to hit the link in the description below in order to vote for my design so that Caloric might produce it as a limited edition air fryer. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you vote for me, I will love you a uh, locks. Crosby, what are you looking, huh?